Yo diggity. Tearing down a place I got to uh, stay in for uh, 10 days before I was asked to leave. Um, or, well, anyways, I'm not going to get into it, but before something occurred that caused that necessity. And, um, you know, so I'm, I don't want to talk about specifics, but I'm out everything I had. It cost about $500 for the materials, the wood, the screws, the tools, the brackets, the glue, the, you know, the carpet, the, the ceiling, the paint, the, the shelves, the bed, and everything in here was designed the way it was so that it was a storage art room after I'm gone. The reason the bed was built this way, inside here, this tall, and the shelves, and then I was still going to build another one over there when they paid, you know, I needed to get reimbursed, which didn't happen, and couldn't buy any more to make one more shelf, but this was so that they would be storage and workbenches in their tool, whatever, art room in the shed. So I'm taking everything apart and just, you know, looking at everything I've done. And clearly you can see I've taken a lot apart if you're watching. And, you know, but I mean, all of these things bolted, the carpets, every single little shelf. Like, really? I'm supposed to take all of that apart? And then what am I going to do with it? Bullshit. You know, like, while I'm sitting here, I'm just thinking, no. Everything in here was designed the way they wanted, approved, before I did anything. And I'm not going to take it down. That's bullshit. I paid for this. I put it in here. This is the only place it goes. And, you know, at first yesterday and the last couple of days, I was thinking, okay, fine, I'll take it down. I have to be out of here by tomorrow. I'm doing this 100% by myself and 480 mile round trip. Yeah, I can't do all that. It's completely impossible for me to do it, even if I could reuse the materials that were made and measured specifically for this room. Yeah, I'm kind of getting a little irritated thinking about that. So do I just throw $500 more in the trash and give them my gift? Theft is what it actually is. I mean, I'm sorry, but everybody knows you don't, you don't help a homeless person by asking them to move in, pay, offer to pay them f to fix and organize and clean the property and shed and house, and then don't pay them, and then 10 days after they're done, oh, did you get a good night's sleep? Well, fuck that. So yeah, you know what? I'm going to use all of these videos and everything as evidence of what's been going on. And okay, yeah, they did. I did have an apology on my car. And that's great. Thank you for that. I appreciate the acknowledgement. But no. I'm not going to keep getting fucked financially, and I'm not going to spend all this time and days in another round trip to get here to tear more work down I just built two weeks ago. I don't know. What do you think? Hopefully they end up paying me. If not, I'm sure there's plenty of evidence. There's written evidence electronically. There's written evidence handwritten, there's recordings, audio, and video. Fuck this shit. I'm not taking it down. I'll take all of my stuff, but to tear it all apart, no, I'm just going to send them a bill. I did not do anything that they did not approve and ask me to do, so whatever. YouTube is going to be my witness for everything, and sorry, phone died, whatever. 
Anyways, yeah, I think that's my plan. I have no other option if I have any self-respect left, which I do. And, you know, I planned on leaving without a trace, like I have left everywhere else. But, again, those were my things I was moving. These are their things. They, they were bought by me to build their room that would stay, live far beyond me. We discussed doing quality work, getting good wood, not particle, but, you know, crap like that, so it will last. Not to mention the fact that me tearing it down, well, do I bill for more labor? I mean, did you pay me to build and move into something for 10 days? Like, really? And that's helping a homeless person? Really? <laughs> There's so much more, but I'm going to keep it to myself for now and hope that I uh, don't have to go balls out, but it's just absolutely wrong. And think about this, this move right here, just since Branson, for those of you who've been watching or those of you who know me, this is move number 18. Number 18. Okay? In three years. Yeah, that's not, like, 18 in my life. Literally, since I have been sick and battling death and homelessness, yeah, that many times, every single penny that anybody purchased a photo or crochet with or donated out of the kindness of their heart or that I worked for, every penny went to moving. A little bit of toilet paper and food and gas here and there. But, yeah, moving that many times. Yeah, no, this is, that's the last one. I'm just, that's it. So, whatever, I mean, it won't be the first time I've been financially fucked. In fact, um, God, what was it the other day? I added it up. How many people? Okay, so my boss on Whidbey Island paid me. And then the chick in Seattle paid me. Both of them paid me everything they owed me. Other than that, not one single person I worked for, including um, the people in Florida. Yeah, uh, more and more realty. Uh huh. To uh, Whidbey Island, the Northwest Language Academy and Cultural Center. Yeah, you're just so... You're saving the world with your fucking mansions using all us slaves. And the other homeless guy you had worked him to death for even longer than me. Yeah, because I'm better at saying no. Yeah. Two people of every job that I've had since my brain infection were the only ones to pay me since I was homeless. And I want to make this point again. I made it in other videos, but before I was homeless, lived all over the country, up, down, north, south, in between, everywhere, had every single kind of job you can imagine, from washing dishes, making pizza, to financial management, to Hollywood, to ever m tons of things. Yeah, and it's only been the last few years. Interesting. All right, well, no more, so I'm just going to have to leave it that way. I'm not taking out every single little screw and all those little pieces of wood and care and then taking a whole nother load back and forth. I mean, it's cheaper just to pay me for my work and the supplies than it would be for to go to court and then pain and suffering and all of that crap and then gas. How many gas tanks? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't drive a Yugo. You know, do they even still make those? <laughs> All right, I left that light on, so save my batteries. But yeah, I guess that's, uh, I don't know. If you have any thoughts, ideas, let me know. But yeah, glitter, spray paint, uh, yeah. Um, enough is enough. This is Christie's last stand or something. I don't know. Here's the good news. I do have a place to go, but again, yeah, I have a place to go, but everything costs money. So I have to be reimbursed for the money that I spent here in February to have this finished by March 6th. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, so that on the 15th I could be told whatever. <clears throat> All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for staying up to date and take care. See you.